The storm brewing in Washington, D.C. We are heading into what could be a very dicey week for the Obama administration and specifically for the woman who has taken an enormous amount of incoming fire over the failures at healthcare.gov, the Obamacare website. Yeah, Secretary of Health and Human Services Kathleen Sebelius goes before Congress on Wednesday. So is her job in jeopardy? Let's bring in ABC's George Stephanopoulos, who will be discussing this issue on this week later this morning. She is one of the president's longest serving cabinet members. Could she lose her job over what's going on with that website? I don't website? think so, because she is one of the president's longest serving cabinet members. He's supporting her 100 percent right now. And so far, at least, m m most Democrats have not joined Republicans in calling for her resignation. But she's got a big job to do uh, this week. She's got to calm fears about Obamacare. She's going to have a lot of tough questions to answer about, especially about what they knew about the problems before October 1st. This is all going to depend, though, on whether or not those problems with the website can actually get fixed by the end of November, as the White House has now promised. Right. That won't help her when she gets up in front of Congress this It's going to be a tough day. Yes. So you have a big live guest on the broadcast this morning, Dick Cheney, the former vice president. He's out with a new book. He's talking about his... Uh, long struggles with health care problems. What do you want to talk to him about? Well, we're going to talk about that, but we also have to talk to the vice president this week about this growing spy scandal, learning all week long that Americans, uh, the NSA has actually been spying on American allies like the German chancellor, Angela Merkel. We also learned, according to these documents, that it was going on while the vice president was in office, may have even started right in 2002. So I want to get him to weigh in on that and the war on terror. Also about, the, you know, the, this infighting inside the Republican Party. His daughter is right in the middle of it. She's challenging a long time veteran Republican Senator will probably talk to him about that as well. Also he has a book out on his health issues as well so a lot to talk mm -hmm. to him about. Great to Thanks, see guys. you George. Thanks, George. And be sure to George uh, to join George <laughs> later this week. A lot of <laughs> tricky words in there. When he goes one-on-one -on -one with the former Vice President Dick Cheney that's a big show coming up later this morning. George thanks again.